time to rock. Beyonce just released her new I mean, album, Cowboy me, Carter. This is a big deal for you. For you, me, it's an enormous deal. Well, Beyonce dropping act two wasn't just an enormous deal for Sarah Paulson, no. Kerry Washington and millions of Spotify users were ready for it. Over the course of its first day of release on Friday, Cowboy Carter had 76.1 million streams, making it the biggest debut on Spotify for 2024 and Beyonce's biggest day ever on the platform. You know you're an enormous deal when the vice president <laughs> is tweeting her reaction to the album by 4 p.m. that day. Kamala Harris wrote, Beyonce, thank you for reminding us to never feel confined to other people's perspectives of what her lane is. You have redefined a genre and reclaimed country music's black roots. Your music continues to inspire us all. And people were ready to shoot up. Ryan Seacrest tweeted, my identity after listening to Beyonce's Cowboy Carter. And Elmo wrote, <laughs> this ain't Texas, this is Sesame Street. She didn't show off her last year of truth, but Linda Carter shared a throwback photo writing from one Carter to another with the tip of the cowboy hat. Blackbird, Jolene. Blackbird, Jolene, but the, the duet. Two most uh, wanted. Two most oh, wanted. don't Woo! even talk about it. On Friday night, Pulse and Fallon singled out their favorite album tracks. And all three that they mentioned are still in the top 13 on iTunes Canada on Monday, along with Texas Hold'em. There's still four full days of tracking to go, but many are predicting that the Miley collab, Two Most Wanted, will debut at number one on the Hot 100 this week. After Miley wrote a heartfelt thank you to Beyonce on Instagram on Friday, B is aware that Miley can buy herself flowers, but still sent some anyways with a note. Miley, thank you for making this song even more special. Hope you have an amazing day. Sending love and hugs. Love, B. I'll be a shotgun right up till the day I die. The voice of track nine posted the throwback image of herself with the caption, just call me Dolly P. Hey, Miss Honey B, it's Dolly P. She intros Beyonce's cover of Jolene, which Dionne Warwick declared wonderful, and Haley Bieber wrote Hoof, on her Instagram story. Hoof, is right. So you don't want no heat with me, Jolene. Other celebs have been tweeting lyrics to show what they're tuned into. <laughs> Halle Berry chose this gif to best represent her dance moves for track eight. I'm a clever, I'm a clever girl. girl. Victoria Monet is a clever girl for tweeting the lyrics from track 20, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pitchfork called that song phenomenal, and the Daily Beast declared it the best track on the album on Saturday. But then once Victoria heard track 26, she declared, Sweet Honey Bucket, honestly, for F's sake. <laughs> bad night to a good time on a trail ride to the Zydeco, I'm coming home. By the time Beyonce sang Amen, Victoria concluded, how were any of us expected to get rest after that? Rolling Stone declared the album an instant classic in their review. Chloe tweeted, we're witnessing greatness in real time with a bunch of B emojis. Imagine when we tell our kids about this. Kiki Palmer wrote, thank you, Beyonce, for living your art in true Virgo fashion. The dedication, remarkable. Yeah, it is remarkable. Like, even before you get to reviewing the album or giving your reaction to the album, to be generating these kind of numbers 27 years into your pop music career and generating this love of conversation about music 27 years into your pop music career, only Michael Jackson and Madonna have been able to do that. Nobody else. 27 years of pop music career. That's what I'm saying, pop music. That's the popular music. No one else has been able to do that. Like I have a, in my mind, I have like four artists who are the artists in terms of most um, influential, most accomplished, most important, most consequential. There's four artists for me. Beatles, Michael Jackson, Elvis, and Madonna. At this point, I don't know how I keep Beyonce off that list. And I'm not talking they're my favorite artists. It's just like they're the most um, yeah, impactful artists in music, in music history. Those are the four. And I think Beyonce is about to break into that list for me. I haven't heard the full album. Well, sorry. I think I have heard the full album at this point because I've been hearing it in pieces. And while I do these segments, I've been hearing certain songs. So I think I've heard everything at this point, but I don't think I can give a proper review or reaction to it yet. Because, yeah, I haven't like really sat down and hit play yet in this album. But from what I heard, all the pieces, compiling, compiling them all in my head, it's stunning. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Cowboy Carter? And I've just been like all day. Every just, day. Yeah.